Hello, Harry Potter fans! Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening two Geek Gear boxes. The February box and January box, or February box, January box. One of them is February, one of them is January. So before we begin, I want to show off my December Geek Gear Box shirt. I want to say congratulations to Porter Allison, who won the November Geek Gear Giveaway Prize, this Phoenix shirt. Congratulations, Porter. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is the January box. This is the February box. So let's move this one aside. All right, are you ready? On the count of three, one, two, three. All right, what is this? There's not usually a note on top, so this must have some important information about this box. Our boxes are changing for the better. We apologize if people felt like we have lacked in our personalized and handcrafted charm the way we started back in 2016. From our February box onward, we are changing our boxes, our packing, and our content. Holy moly, so this must be the January box then. Expect only the highest quality products with unique and cute packaging. Whoa, fancy. So we're gonna get to experience that unique and cute packaging when we open up this next box. Expect handcrafted, original artwork, and so much more. Thank you for being a loyal subscriber from your Geek Gear team. All right, so that's actually kind of exciting. We're gonna get to see a comparison of the old Geek Gear box, how they've set that up, compared to the new ones. So without even planning it, we're gonna get a nice comparison of the old Geek Gear box compared to the new one, uh, the February Geek Gear box. So let's dive in to the January box. Um, this is the first thing I see, an empty pin box. Is it in here somewhere? Oh, it is. Whew. Well, it still shouldn't like be out of the box. That's kind of weird. Um, so we're gonna put it back in the box. All right, so the first thing that I see is this t-shirt, a white t-shirt, which looks like, yep, it's the Hogwarts, Hogwarts grounds, and it's Hogwarts in the clouds, and uh, this is a pretty cool shirt. All right, next up, let's look at that enamel pin. It is an owl in a winter hat, Santa hat with a scarf on. That's pretty cute, actually. Look at this. It's a little bit different from what I've seen them put in their boxes in the past. So that's a, that's kind of a fun little pin. Next up is a snowy owl. I don't know what this means, but it's a box with owls on it. And inside it must be like a little stuffed owl or something. Indeed, there is a little stuffed owl. Very cute, very cute little owl that I can put up on top of my shelves with my other knickknacks and doodads. It smells like glue, but it's cute. We have some love potion tea and it looks like it's mixed red berry infusion. That would be really good. Hibiscus, apple pieces, rose hip shells, citrus peel, flavoring, and um, raspberry pieces. I love the passion tea from Starbucks, so that kind of sounds passion tea-esque. I'm gonna have to give this a try. In this box here, let's check it out. It is, oh, it's like a pendant. Chocolate frog, I think, like a chocolate frog pendant. That's pretty neat. Look at that. It's not something I would wear every day, but uh, I'll wear it in the video. It's made out of metal, it's very heavy, and it feels pretty substantial, which is good. It's in the shape of a chocolate frog card with a frog on the face and a matching chain to go around your neck. Next up is a wizardry cushion cover. So that's fun, like a, a pillowcase cover. Canvas material, almost looks like burlap on the back. It's a very cool kaleidoscope effect. Um, it has the different houses on it, um, different keys, and the lightning bolt, Harry's glasses, owls on either corner. It looks like this would fit a standard size decorative pillow. I think it's 10 inches or 12 inches, one of those two. Has a zipper at the bottom to easily access your pillow. Very cool pillow, I like the color choices that Geek Gear went with. It's not too bold, one of the house colors doesn't shine above the rest. Muted tones, I like it. And as is true with most Geek Gear boxes, there is a piece of artwork. And in this box we have the three brothers. 
So the Deathly Hallows here, power for the Elder Wand, longing for the Resurrection Stone, and humility for the Cloak of Invisibility. With script in the back, and they took, of course, the design of the movie Elder Wand, Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. All right, so now we will look at the information guide for January. I think it was actually the November box that I looked at this first and everyone was not happy. So I apologize. I will save it to last in the future. All of these items are Geek Gear exclusives and I believe that you can purchase individual items on the Geek Gear website. And we have a hint for next month, which is right here in front of us, February, and it shows the Mer people. So it's going to have possibly a Triwizard Tournament theme or a Magical Creatures theme. I think we should find out. This is the February Geek Gear Box, the big change. Let's see what is inside. Oh, looks the same. Oh, oh wait, this is December. <laughs> this is the December Geek Gear Box. Wait, I don't know. Okay, so rewind and I need to correct myself. This was actually from the October Geek Gear box and we opened up January. This is December, so we don't have that nice comparison I was hoping for. We don't have the February box yet. Uh, so let's look through December, I guess. Oh, we're not gonna look at that. So we'll put this aside. So this shirt was actually from November not December, because this is the December box. Let's see what's inside. The December shirt is this one here. Oh, cool, It's this actually mimics the pillowcase that we have from the January box. It's like a, a preview almost. It's, it has that kaleidoscope effect. It has different symbols, keys, sorting hat, uh, the Triwizard Cup, lightning bolts, the four houses, a stag in the middle. I like the color choices this silver and black look. I'm very picky about the shirts that I would wear like in public, and this is one of them that I would wear. All right, let's see what this is. Bus ticket, it's a box with a bus ticket on it. So, oh, it has a, it's a shrunken head. A wizardry shrunken head is inside. Let's <laughs> pull him out. Look at that, oh my goodness. It's the shrunken head from the night bus. That's too funny. So you could use it as a keychain. You could probably dangle it from your car if you wanted to as well. That's actually a little creepy too, but very cool nonetheless. We have something rolled up over here. Let's see what's inside. It's a poster of some sort. Oh, this is beautiful. And it's signed. This must be a Geek Gear contest or something. Someone um, created this artwork and then Geek Gear published it or printed it and then the artist signed it. But look at this, you're gonna love this. It's Newt Scamander's case with a bunch of creatures exploding out of it. See, we have uh, Fooper and the Demi Guys and Niffler and the Akami. Love this, this is so cool. I love the look of it, the feel of it. And then a uh, the artist's signature down here on the bottom left-hand corner. We'll take a look at the information guide to get more info about this in a second. There is a Niffler keychain from Crimes of Grindelwald. Niffler keychain. Geek Gear sent a card. Happy New Year from Geek Gear. A massive thank you for subscribing to our boxes throughout 2018. We wouldn't be where we are today without our customers' continued support. Wishing you all a fun-filled, geeky, and simply magical New Year. And then there's also a flyer for Geek Gear's new subscription box, Noble Wands. Um, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I'm not a fan of this. I think the subscription wand box idea is great. However, I am not a fan of the name. I think they could have easily come up with a better name that doesn't sound too much like Noble Collection. So I won't be subscribing to this really just for that reason. You may think differently and that's cool. By all means subscribe, but for me personally, I just I can't subscribe to something like this when, you know, the Noble Wands, 
Noble Collection Wands. Everyone knows Noble Collection Wands, and I feel like they're trying to capitalize on Noble Collection's success. But if you are interested in subscribing, Noble 10 is a discount code that you could use to receive a 10% discount on your first order. And again, it's a brand new subscription box, and they are limited edition wands made by Geek Gear, essentially. So you're not gonna receive Noble Collection Wands. I think you're gonna receive something like this, which was one of the wands that they had in a previous subscription box. They had a contest and this was the wand that was selected. All right, inside we have, oh, they have, okay, they, they're sending out a wand to help promote Noble Wands. It's very, it's like a cross between Hermione's wand and Newt Scamander's wand. It's very heavy. It looks cheap to me. And that's not me just saying that because I don't like the idea of noble wands, I would be honest, if it was a nice looking wand. It's a fine looking wand, but it's a little too heavy, honestly. It's like solid resin or something, and I wouldn't want to carry this around in a, a cosplay because it's, it's a little bit too heavy. I don't know the prices of the noble wand subscription boxes. The wand is crooked, actually. This isn't a wand that I would send out as, as an advertisement for a new subscription box that you're trying to promote. The decision is up to you whether you want to invest in one of these wand subscription boxes. We have two delicious looking recipes, custard creams and butterscotch cupcakes. As usual, I probably won't be making these, but I will show them to you in case you would like to make them. And what's odd is we didn't receive any recipes in the January box. So I wonder if they are stopping that altogether or if January just didn't have any recipes in it. And of course we have a print and this is of the Triwizard Cup, the Triwizard Tournament. It features the Triwizard Cup and Harry Potter and Cedric Diggory as the two Hogwarts champions. Eternal glory together with, oh, look at that. Voldemort's face is in the middle of the cup. Although he has blue eyes, he shouldn't have blue eyes. He should have red eyes. I mean, it wouldn't really match with the blue lettering if he had red eyes, but very, very cool to have his face in there. And then obviously Harry's hand and Cedric's hand reaching out to grab the cup together. And last but not least, let's look at the Geek Gear information card for December of 2018. All right, so that piece of art, exclusive artist signed poster, artist Kevin Cantwell has done it again with this amazing painting. We are thrilled to have included this A3 copy in every box. Each copy has been marked by the artist's initials. So I don't know if that means that it was actually hand signed or not or what, but it sure looks like a hand signed piece. And then we have the Niffler and that shrunken head, which is really, really fun. Oh, we have all information about the recipes. We regret to reveal the news that this month's recipes will be the last in the cookbook series, but we are working hard on something new and exciting to replace this item for 2019. All right, so recipes are done. So if you liked those recipes, they will not continue. And a little bit about the exclusive wand for those of you who would like to sign up or learn more about the Noble Wands by Geek Gear. In this month's box, we have included this exclusive designed wand from Noble Wands. Each of these fabulous wands is unique to this new brand and we are excited to see the results. Each wand is crafted with resin and an iron core for added durability. All right, so iron core, that explains why the wand is so heavy. And the next box hint is a picture of Hedwig holding a Hogwarts letter. If you would like to subscribe to Geek Gear, I will put a link down below in the description and you can go to that website for more information. Well, those were the December and January boxes. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at the Potter Collector. Now it is time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?